Eric's Guitar Amplifier Repair, helping musicians to perform better. Welcome to Eric's Guitar Amplifier Repair here in California. My name is Eric. Here at Eric's Guitar Amplifier Repair, we not only repair and restore audio and guitar amplifiers for the working musician, we also build custom amplifiers. One of the most popular types of amplifiers that we build here is the Marshall Plexi types. All of these amplifiers are built using turret board, they are hand soldered using silver solder, and specialized components. These amplifiers are built for you, the working musician, by me and by me only. I do not mass produce my amplifiers. These are custom amplifiers designed and built for you. However, one of the most popular amplifiers that comes into my shop that I really like is the 1965 Fender Reverb Deluxe. Let's take a look at one of the most recent amplifiers that came into my shop. Let's begin. And here we're looking at the front view of the panel. A little bit of damage there, lower left quadrant. And here we are testing the output tubes before applying voltage. And you can see this is testing not too great. And this one as well. So they wore out pretty evenly. Here we're looking at the preamp side of the circuit and the power amp side. I'm going to replace these two coupling capacitors here. I dislike the orange drop type capacitor. Uh, these just change the sound of the original Fender amplifiers too much. We have the original polyester type capacitors. Um, these are highly valued by collectors. I'm going to go ahead and just check to see if there's DC voltage on one side. If there is, I will replace those capacitors. If not, we will leave those alone. This amp appears to be serviced on the circuit side. Let's take a look at the filter pack. You can see here that the power supply filter capacitors have been replaced however you can see that the manufacturer is the IC manufacturer and these are known for failure uh, I'm not going to replace these unless I see that there is some noise in in here in this power supply I can do this by putting it on the oscilloscope and then injecting a 1 kilohertz sine wave and I will show you that next this is an 8 ohm 100 watt resistor attached to an aluminum heat sink and we have our oscilloscope attached to the resistor. This resistor is attached to the uh, speaker output terminal. Okay, we're going to bring up the volume and we can see a nice clean sine wave. So this shows that the filter capacitors are fine they're okay I'm going to replace these two coupling capacitors I don't like the orange drop type capacitor there's nothing wrong these are not failing they are obviously newer but I just don't like these types of capacitors it's just not my preference before I work on the circuit board I'm going to discharge the filter capacitors and you can do so at this point here and this point here place your discharge tool probe here and here this is the discharge tool that I built for myself so right now I'm sitting the bias I have my positive probe from my digital voltmeter attached here at this bias pot and then the ground is going to uh, the, the main ground chassis and I'm looking for negative 35 volts I've already sent a 1 kilohertz sine wave injected into the amplifier and looked at the notch the crossover distortion on the oscilloscope already and negative 35 is fine it's, it's a good uh, way to bias uh, 
this particular Fender Deluxe. This is a 1965 Fender Deluxe. It is in pristine condition, almost pristine condition, I would say. Uh, it's been serviced uh, once, it looks like, already before me. Um, and we'll talk about what I see here. So let me move the camera over one notch. Please hold. Starting on the preamp side, we have these polyester original fender capacitors. Uh, collectors really love these types of capacitors and uh, they have a high value. Um, they're fine. Uh, this is part of the fender sound. You know, this is a vintage amplifier and for those who don't know, the early deluxes, especially this one, the 1965 deluxe, is sought after by collectors, musicians, rock stars, studio, studios. Um, these are high, a high value amplifier. The reason why is it sounds fantastic. I built my own amplifiers for rock stars and collectors and working musicians. Uh, but this uh, type of amplifier, this Deluxe Reverb, is one of my favorite amplifiers. It uses a 6V6 output tube and it just sounds fantastic. I really like it. We're going to look at some of the work that was done by uh, a former technician. And I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like. So let me slide this over. And we'll start at this component here. We have two electrolytic capacitors here and here, um, and here and here. Sorry about that. This is not my favorite way of replacing uh, electrolytics. I like to use the Sprague and Atom type. Uh, they'll last a lot longer and they're closer to the original type of electrolytic capacitors used during the original fender manufacturing. You can see here that we have uh, plate resistors here and here. Um, actually, let me move this over. So let's look at the first channel. These are the plate resistors. If you want to get closer to the original sound, you can use a carbon composition type. If you use a 2 watt, you'll be able to control uh, noise. And the carbon composition is a very good resistor for high pulse voltages. So that's something you can do to kind of create the original sound, but this is fine. This is there's no problem using these types of uh, resistors. Coming over, we can see that the coupling capacitors have been replaced and the sound is dramatic. It's very noticeable. Mojitone, this is a Mojitone capacitor. I really like to use solen types and paper and oil types, but since I'm not charging this particular customer, I'm going to, these are free, because this is just something that I wanted to do, um, because I have a preference for everything but, but the uh, orange drops. So here, I'm finding that these sound much, much better than the orange drops. And originally I didn't really care for the, these are called Mustard by Mojitone. And I didn't love them, but there seems to be a change in their formula. And lately I'm beginning to uh, really like these capacitors and they're a great price too. So this is a good option for those who want to try to get closer to the original sound of the 
Fender Deluxe from the 1960s. Here you can see that I have this jumper and this is just to turn on the uh, tremolo. So we have the RCA jack here, um, taking that positive and then grounding it here and that turns on the tremolo system and you can see here this is where the um, optocoppler is and I can see it flashing so it's strong it's flashing strong and this is a easy way to test that way you don't have to stick a RCA jack in here and try to ground that to itself so this is something that uh, technicians can use So I wanted to just show the transformers. Interesting stamp here. And again, we have the transformers. Just taking a look at the condition and again the overall condition of this amplifier is really really nice I replaced the failing output tubes they were the JJ type which I like uh, but I replaced those with these 6v6 GTs by Elutro Harmonics this is the tube that has the purple label on the other side and I actually really like these I don't like Electro Harmonics tubes that much but I like these these for some reason um, sound really really great I don't know if I just got a good batch of these or they're all pretty consistent I, I have no idea but I do like um, these 6v6's we're going to bring up the volume and we can see a nice clean sine wave so this shows that the filter capacitors are fine they're okay Eric's guitar amplifier repair helping musicians to perform better